Well, first of all, Strasbourg is waking up to what was a very long and terrible evening uh, and a lot of people uh, didn't manage to get home until very late, uh, way past midnight last night because the entire city was on lockdown. But what we do know, as you have mentioned earlier also, that five people are being questioned in relation to the attack and um, it is unclear whether the uh, gunman is still in France, in fact, because the question that came about last night was that, you know, Strasbourg is such a small uh, city, small town, at least the centre, and why has it taken that long to find this person and that's why there are um, suggestions that he may or may not be uh, in France at this moment so obviously the investigation continues and we do uh, we just we're just seeing some lines that there is a police operation underway near the Strasbourg uh, Cathedral but you know what last night I was speaking to the police officers who were stationed right in front of the cathedral they were blocking entrance to it and they said that the police officers that have been brought in from different parts of France had set up um, an operations a control center just uh, in the middle there that's why they were evacuating that center. So it is not surprising that the operations continue. And because of this uh, increased level of alert, this allows the authorities to conduct even more uh, even more raids or searches, as we saw in previous attacks when I was covering uh, other attacks as well. This is, this is what happens uh, after the initial attack. Tessa, you, you were there uh, last night, uh, as we said. Just tell us uh, what you saw unfold. Yeah, we were inside a restaurant that took place just a few hundred meters from where uh, some people were injured because when we stepped outside, we saw the police scored on and the exact same alleyway where um, some of the injured were being brought out. So what happened was we were inside just minutes after that happened and we were locked down in the restaurant for hours. We didn't get out till, until after midnight and uh, police officers were coming in informing us that um, the investigation is still ongoing and that we were to stay inside, although people did remain calm. I think what's interesting to see also is that Europe has seen several uh, attacks already in the past few years and it was eerily calm actually inside the restaurant even when uh, the patrons had already found out that something was going on y you know you've got to you, you, you does it does beg the question is it because you know this is it, it has happened before or is it a sense of defiance uh, when when things like these happen so that was uh, that was what happened with us last night we were locked down much like uh, a lot of the the restaurants and bars way past midnight I saw groups of people still being evacuated from that center especially the one near the cathedral where the uh, police uh, base uh, was established.